everyone, welcome to the channel, Talking with Jay Springer. I'm your host, Jay, giving you a video on the channel today. If you've already seen the title, you already know what this is. This is the Punisher Season 2 review. Now, I promised my, basically my subscribers, that I'll be giving you guys this review. I see that a lot of people have been viewing my Punisher Series 2 trailer reactions and stuff like that, so I thought I'd give you guys a review. I sat down and finally watched it through yesterday and completely enjoyed the series, but without further ado, we get straight into this review. If you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting the bell next to it to be notified when I do videos just like this one. I don't just do reviews for TV series, I do movies and gaming as well, and I don't just do reviews, I do reactions to trailers, and I also do ranking videos, from the worst to the best to the best to the worst, stuff like that when it comes to superheroes and all these type of things. If you're interested, subscribe, hit the bell, you will not be disappointed. If you enjoy my review, don't forget to smash the thumbs up and comment your thoughts down below. Without further ado, we go straight into my review. So the Punisher Series 2 is a superhero action TV series as we know from the first season. Now, I really enjoyed the first season. I was going into this one, I was a bit worried about how they was going to go. Because if you're hearing all the news, obviously, of Daredevil, Jessica Jones, all these big Marvel TV series being cancelled on Netflix, I was expecting the same for the Punisher. We Now, we still don't know what's going to go on with the Punisher like, series and stuff. Are they going to continue it on Netflix? Uh, but I can only see good things happening with this TV series. Now, this, is, this season 2 was released on January 18th, a lot of things were released on January 18th, seemed like around January 18th, 19th time, there was a lot of things coming out, whether it was films, I actually went to go and see uh, the, the film Glass, I'll leave a review link in the description, annotations at the end of the video as well, if you want to go and check that out, I reviewed that for you guys, uh, really good film, so, um, and basically guys, I'm going to go straight into the ratings from the critics themselves, now, we start off with the IMDB giving it 8.6 out of 10, great rating for that one. Then we have the Metacritic giving it a 58. And then we lead last with Rotten Tomatoes giving it a 50%. Now, if you look at these now, obviously Rotten Tomatoes and Metacritic are not going to give them a high score. Now, I'm, I'm pleased with the ratings that they're giving them because it's not under underrating them. Uh, especially RMDB really showing its appreciation to the TV series. Um, but without giving my score and my rating away, which I'm going to give you guys at the end of the video, um, I just want to basically go through a summary of what the story is about in this season. Now, this TV series is based on the comic book character Frank Castle, as we know as the Punisher. Uh, in this series, we really see Frank try to basically save a girl from being murdered, forcing him to decide whether he should bring out the Punisher or keep to Frank Castle. In this series, we get to see a whole new side of Frank Castle in general, in my opinion. I think this was based around Frank Castle. We do get the Punisher moments. We do get the badass action bits that you want to what you guys are going to want to see. Um, definitely you're going to get to see all that. The main point of this is seeing Frank Castle struggle after the death of his family to connect with people. And the connections he has with certain people in this, whether it's good or bad, you really get to feel for Frank Castle and some of the people around him. Um, he puts his life on the line more, I think, in this series than he did on the last one. He's more risky in this series. With the many twists and turns you get in this story, it basically tells you a great storyline and you follow way through and it brings out what I believe is just as good as the first series of The Punisher. That's what I'm going to say in, in this whole summary of the story and just a little bit of my opinion in there as well. Um, but without further ado, we go straight into the facts. Basically, this was produced and written by Steve Lightfoot, who actually done the first series of The Punisher, as well as known for Hannibal TV series and Narcos. Now, he he's quite a big name, obviously done some big series. Um, and yeah, he, he seems to know what he's doing, definitely going into this series. I like his work, what he's done with The Punisher. I haven't seen Hannibal or Narcos, but I have heard of them. And they're apparently big series. So if you guys have watched them, you'll definitely know his work. Uh, and then we're going to go through the main actors I wanted to pick. I'm not, there's some actors and actresses that I haven't picked in this for spoiler reasons. This is a non-spoiler review. I don't want to go ahead and spoil it for anyone that hasn't seen The Punisher Series 2. Even though it has been out since January 18th. I actually have only just finished watching it myself. So I'm sure a lot of other people don't have the time and haven't watched it all yet. So this is a non-spoiler review, guys. Obviously, we know John Burnfall as, the Fra as Frank Castle, the Punisher. Obviously, from the first series... In this series, I want to be completely honest. I was really, really mesmerised by his performance in this series. I think it was just as good as the first one, maybe even better. I really liked the, the way they dealt with Frank Castle. I think that was, as I said in, the, in my little summary and stuff, I think this was really based around Frank Castle and how he connects with people. And I don't want to spoil it because there's a lot of other people in this, in this series. 
and uh, you get people coming back, you get people going out, and uh, it's just what you'd expect with a Punisher series. But John Burnfall really gives it a really good performance. Whenever I see, think the Punisher, I think of this guy. This guy's really made the character really well, just as good as the guy who plays the Daredevil. I think John Burnfall really, really deserves the credit here, and I'm hoping to, I'm praying that they continue the Punisher series and we get to see more from this guy. If not, I'm hoping they bring out a movie or whatever with this guy as the Punisher. He deserves to play the part. He was made to play the part. He lives the role. Next up, we have Georgia Wiggum. Now, she plays as Amy, the young girl who's basically trying to be saved from Frank Castle, the Punisher, basically. Um, you get to really see their relationship grow in this TV series, which is something I really appreciated. I think she done a great job. She done uh, done what was exactly needed of her as a side character, as a uh, a side kicks, if you want to say, in this sort of series. Um, I really enjoyed her. I thought she was funny and really the chemistry they had, you could definitely see why they picked her as the side character in this story. Uh, next up we have Ben Barnes. Now this is not a spoiler because we have seen it. If you've watched the trailers, you should know that Billy Russo comes back. Uh, obviously comes back as a whole new thing, which I'm not going to spoil, um, but he comes back. I think his performance in this was really good. Hit the parts that he was in got me really hooked. I wanted to see what he was doing, whether he was going back to that dark side that we know, obviously, what he'd done in the first series, or does he go down the path where he goes to the good? Um, we get to see a lot about him and uh, and the struggles of him and what he came from from the first series, which was really very good, um, if I'm honest. And I wanted to see a lot more from this guy. I won't spoil anything about the character because, as I said, there's a lot of things that happen with this character as well as most of these other characters, if I'm completely honest. Next up, we have Amber Rose Reaver. She plays Agent Dina Madani uh, from the first series. Uh, I, I've highlighted her because I think she had a crucial role in this TV series. And obviously, she was from the first series. It's not a spoiler that she's going to be in it. Um, obviously, you see her struggle from the first series from what Billy Russo did to her. And you see her trying to find a way for not going down the paths of revenge and stuff like that. You get to see a lot of things with this character. And I think from the first series, she's grown and really, really grown into a great character, and I really did enjoy her in this TV series. Now, she still does them silly things, which she done in the first series, which was quite annoying, where she does make some silly decisions, says some silly things, but that is an agent with Dunny. Obviously, you've got to remember that she's in the police force, and you've got to sort of expect that. They've got to go by the book, by the rules, even though they don't in the end. Um, that's pretty much what we've got to try and remember. And the last character I wanted to talk about was played by Jason Moore, and it is Curtis Hoyle. Now, this is a very underrated character, I believe, that's not going to really get the mention he deserves. I think he had a great a great season this season. Compared to last season, last season, he, he was okay. He was, he was definitely a side character. And this one, he comes more into it as you'd expect as one of the main characters coming from the first series like Madani herself uh, Agent Madani I think both of them two really brought it in this series and I, I really did enjoy their characters and the way they've grown um, and you get to see see the relationships they have with Frank and Billy and and I really really did enjoy the performance in this as I said I don't want to spoil anything so I just wanted to give him a mention because I think a lot of people are going to overlook him when we go through my rating system I like to look through certain things, and that is the storyline, the script and the dialogue, the directing, the cinematography, the editing, and under editing I use pacing, music, and visuals. Um, so they're the five things I like to look at when I'm reviewing, and I'm going to quickly go through them. Now the storyline in this TV series followed from the first series and was very understanding. I followed, I followed it from A to B, I didn't have a problem with it, and every part in the storyline made sense. You had the plot points, which really didn't confuse anyone, and I think... The person who wrote this and made this uh, done a great job with with the storyline. I think the storyline really got me hooked. That was the main thing I really enjoyed about this. As much as the character growth, the storyline was really key in this TV series. Now, you'd have to watch season one to fully understand season two. Um, so, hopefully, you guys have actually watched season one and you're watching this. Um, so, you won't be confused with what I'm actually saying so or I've, I, I haven't spoiled stuff already but yeah the storyline I think had a major role in this TV series as you'd expect and I think it done really really well 
Next up, we have the script and the dialogue. Now, the script and the dialogue is very hard to review because you can have some characters that have great scripts and dialogue, and then you have some characters that aren't. Um, there was a couple of other side characters, as I said, I didn't want to spoil it for you guys, that didn't really have the script, that they like the dialogue that they needed to really win me over. That's just me personally. Now, you guys may actually like them characters as you as you watch it yourself but me the main characters i've listed had a really well done script really well dialogued um so the main characters i think done really well in this i just think some of the side characters suffered um but i still think the script was well enough for a tv series and kept me interested all the way through next up we have the direction directing in this series was was great i, I didn't have any problems with it i didn't have when I was watching it, I didn't go, oh, well, that could have been done better. Same with the cinematography in this. I think both of them can sort of go into the same subject. I think the directing in this was great. I think the cinematography was great. I didn't have any problems with the directing in this. I think all the actors really done their job in this and you really emotionally understand and connect with them as well as the cinematography the way it was filmed. I, I, there was nothing wrong with this TV series. There really wasn't. For the people to slate this series off would be wrong and for people to give it a low rank would be wrong as well and the last one i want to talk about is the editing now the editing is classed as pacing music and visuals so pacing in this as you'd expect in a frank castle punisher series you have your fast moments you have the slow moments to tell the story you have your medium pace bits where it's building up this is exactly what it needed to be the pacing I had no problem with. I, I watched from the first episode to the last episode. Enjoyed every single episode. Now you're going to get people go, oh, this episode was really bad. That one was really bad or really good. You're going to get all your different opinions, which is fair enough. You're allowed to, you're entitled to your own opinions. But me personally watching this, I really enjoyed it. The pacing did not have an issue with. The music, I think the music that they used, there wasn't a lot of music, but when it was used, it was correctly used. I really enjoyed the music, especially in the beginning when you get the characters finally meet. Um, I think the music was really, really well done. I had no problem with it. The visuals, obviously the visuals be like the gunfire or the fighting action scenes. There's not really much visual used in this TV series. But what is used is correctly used as well. Um, and the editing as a whole, I think, done really well in this TV series. Now, when I rate this, I have to rate this TV series out of 10. Now, they fall into categories. You've got really bad, bad, good, and totally awesome. So... They're the categories I've got to go through. Obviously, it's not going to be really bad or bad, but let's go with it. Basically, I'm going to give you guys the ratings again that was from the critics. Obviously, we have IMDb with an 8.6 out of 10, Metacritic with a 58, and Rotten Tomatoes with a 50%. So, I'm looking more towards what IMDb have been giving it. I'm not going to go as low as what Rotten Tomatoes and Metacritic give it. So, we're going to go between the good and the totally awesome. Now, me personally... Is it better than the 8.6 that IMDb give it? I'm going to go with a 8.8 .8 out of 10. I'm going to give it just a little bit more than what IMDb give it. I think this is totally awesome. awesome. Now, this TV series did nothing wrong for me. I had no problem with it. And from A to, a to B, the end of the series, I really enjoyed it. I wanted to get through them as quick as I could to give you guys the review. Uh, as much as because I was enjoying it. So this was really pleasing to watch. And I recommend you guys go ahead and watch it. If you haven't watched it already. Yeah, that is it guys. That is my review for the season 2 of The Punisher. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Smash the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Comment your thoughts down below if you've watched The Punisher season 2. And just thoughts in general. Even if you haven't watched Punisher season 2. If you wanted to ask me some questions and stuff like that. That would be great in the comment section down below. Links in the description and annotations at the end of the video. If you want to check out my latest videos i've done quite a few videos and hopefully you guys stay tuned subscribe and hit the bell if you're new here and because you don't want to miss the stuff on here you're going to get reviews reactions and ranking videos the worst the best the best the worst on certain subjects you may even actually see some punisher content coming up on the channels so without further ado guys i've been me you've been you and i'll see you next time on talking with jay springer mm -hmm.